NYCFC take a quick trip down I-95 to take on the Philadelphia Union in the conference finals. If they win, they head to the MLS Cup to defend their title. Joining us is head coach Nick Cushion to talk about how big of a match this is for the club. Coach, first and foremost, I mean, let's jump right into this because you were named assistant coach to the club back in 2020. I mean, you've seen this team grow and become contenders and champions. You hear trust the process in sports all of the time, but what's this process been like for not only you, but for the club? Well, I think ultimately I was, I was here under Ronnie at the, you know, the championship year last year and um, here at the start of the season as the assistant coach. And I've been a head coach within our organization before. And, you know, we have a change of coach. The organization asks me to step in and um, we kept things consistent for the first three, four weeks. And then, slowly started to because as a head coach you know you have to you have to do it your way you have to let your character and your personality lead the team the way that you you want to do it and over time we we moved it that way and now the process is defined now and I think you see that when we go away to Atlanta last game of the season and then Miami at home through the first round Montreal away and now on to Philadelphia. Yeah, I mean, the process is one thing, but when you have the process and there's still adversity hitting, I mean, you mentioned uh, Ronnie leaving, Tati heading to Europe, playing in multiple home stadiums. So what does that still say about the character of this team, that you're still two wins away from defending, for winning another MLS Cup? Yeah, I think you see the character of the team. I think um, even when we went through a, a, a dip in form through August, September, you know, we still saw the character of the team, you know, was able to turn that around. We were able to win really, really difficult games like Atlas in the Campione's Cup where we lifted that one and then Red Bull at home. And then, you know, we just sort of spiralled from there. We're now six wins on on the spin. And, you know, that's all we ask is, you know, just show the character that we've shown throughout our, you know, our winning season and through this season and just play the next game just next game up and this is Philadelphia away in an Eastern Conference final and it will be difficult but you know we've shown that we can win these difficult games and we can go on and lift trophies. Well let's talk about this next game you said it's going to be difficult it's the rematch but what makes this union team different than last year's? I think that they've just benefited from being together for a long time I think this is season three where they've been a, you know they've had a really settled team and you know, 2020, they won Support Shield. Last year, they got to the conference final where, where we won. And this year, it's a, it's a rematch. Um, they've been good this year, probably the best team in the league. And they're at home with a with a good crowd and a good atmosphere. And it's going to be difficult for us. We know that they're going to be a direct team. They're going to try and get the ball in our half. They're going to try and attack us early in the game. But, you know, we've shown we can win these difficult games and we've shown that we can win at Subaru Park. So we have to make sure that we, we start the game well. And that we, like I say, we just show the personality that we have in the team. Coach, we're getting this exclusive interview with you, and I'm I'm diehard NYCFC. I was at the match at City Field against uh, Miami. I was I got rained on with the club supporters. I feel like I bleed blue, Coach. So talk to me like I'm one of your players. Like, what are you guys gonna have to do to win this game and then head out west and bring the cup home to New York again? I think we just have to. I say again, I said it before the Montreal game, we know this, these teams at home are going to be really difficult and have a really big crowd behind them, but we have character as a team and when we play free and we play with our character and we and we play our football and you know we, we just go and embrace the challenge, it's the best feeling in the world when you win and draw on the experiences that we had in New England and Portland and last year in Philadelphia, you know, go into the game in Montreal with no fear and just go and let the character of the team, don't, don't, don't have no regrets. Go in, start well, and just go and play our football. And when we do that, we give ourselves a chance to win football games. And history says that we can go on and win. So all we have to do is just be ourselves. Damn, coach, you make me want to put on some shin guards and go find me some boots and lace up for you guys. And you know what else you got on your side? The bald nope. head. Every New York coach <laughs> that's winning right now, Brian Dable, Robert Salah, Nick Cushion, has got the bald head. Rub the ball head for good luck, coach. Good luck on Sunday against the Philadelphia Union. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.